the Lamborghini is about to get underway. It is the Lamborghini Blompe Super Trofeo race here, the first of three of the weekend, and they set off, and Johnny Herbert's having an accident here in the commentary box already, but with the race is underway, and it is the black car of Paul Mann, Jan Urban, but no, he's being challenged as they head down towards the first corner. I think that's uh, Fabio Babini, quite possibly, in the number 22 car. Yes, it is, uh, who has just managed to slot ahead and get, no, no, it's not Fabio Babini, he's back in third, he's in the yellow one. So let's check that when we get another view of that as to who's got out in front. Yeah, I'm not sure there's any right now. This is getting quite, it's a good battle up front, this is quite fun. Look, they're all uh, falling over each other at the moment, trying to uh, get away here. Venturi's got that little advantage. Polman there, number 77. Uh, and Jan Urban in second place. And then Albert von Turnen Taxis is uh, sitting there uh, in third, moving out of the slipstream as he comes down the Mistral straight. You see the heat haze coming off. It's a beautiful day here at Paul Ricard. And the uh, bright green car coming down the outside. That's uh, Cedric Limer, I think. Yes, it is Cedric Limer. And he's done it. He's got the low. Oh, no, he got a big slide and sorted it out. That was nice. Good stuff for the 63 car for Cedric Limer. And uh, yeah, they're sort of packing yeah. up. They were, well, they packed that. Yeah, now we got sort of a, a nice oh, fight for the lead. Change. Yeah, they're trying. Change. Al Albert's gone ahead. There you go. I'm not looking at the right one. Yeah. Perhaps, uh, Prince Al Prince Albert's gone, got the lead in this one now in the uh, number 22 car. Oh, he's gone down the inside in the green machine. <laughs> oh. oh. And yeah. pushes 77 over the curbs. There's the 69 back in front. He's on his own, that number 69. Yeah, that's Eugenie Atmos. Yes, he's, uh, he's got to do the run around the car yeah. all on his Todd. Yeah, and he got past later. both. That was a nice move. He got past both of them. So that was that was well judged, wasn't it? Uh, still Venturi, Mirko Venturi. And we still got this back one behind. And uh, while Eugenio Amos has got ahead of these two, they're having a right old rage here. I'm sure that might be... Let's, awesome. let's take a look at this, Johnny. What do you do wrong here, then? Um, I think he just seems to be over. Oh, oh. Say, ram <laughs> He actually hit the other he car. He really hit the other car, yeah. Well, it was a bit optimistic, maybe, yeah. He yeah. seems to be a man in a hurry. He does seem to be a man in a hurry. Well, didn't this is Hervé Lima. And, uh, into the, oh, and then Lima's going to go up the inside of Amos as well. He can't do that, surely. No, he can try. He got away with it, but, uh... <laughs> Fabian, a bit loose. A bit loose. And he's off again. When you're 19 years old. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. who's that off in the background? Was that Amos? No, it was, no, it was uh, 20, it, it might have been Urban, yeah, yeah it was the 77 car. Yeah, Urban, Jan Urban, now, who started on pole. It was our pole man, and he completely lost it. We, well, we've got this good race going on for second. These two are fighting for second here. They're a long way back. Oh, no, he's off. Big off. Will he slow? Oh. Just slow a lot. It's amazing. Again, just seeing that, it was amazing how much he slowed. This is ah. at home. Here's our first. Beginning of the pit stops. First pit stops. So the number 46 car, Mirko Venturi, is going to hand over to Thomas Mino in the Blackpool car. Now, it's not a desperate rush because they have a, a, a minimum time that they have to sit in the pits or have to be in the pits for. He's obviously oh, well in control. Somebody He's over the limit. Over the limit, exactly, yes. The FA Lima, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think so. Before the pit start. He's coming into the pits now. Yeah, yeah. It's hot down there. It's hot in the cars, particularly. There is Fabian Bartes. Minutes, but yeah, he is coming in. He holds yeah. it tight this time. I can see he's on the pit wall, hailing him in. So No problem. In he comes. And he's going to be handing it over to Fabio Babini. He's also wrapping in one of these cars. Okay. So well. oh, off he goes. Sounds good, doesn't it, that V10? Mm -hmm. So... They should be still miles in front of everyone else, with all the stops being made. Yes, there's no one behind there at all. Are you enjoying yourself out there? Absolutely. Uh, it's fantastic conditions. It's a little bit hot. The Lamborghini suits itself perfectly to this track, and um, it's a real pleasure, pleasure to drive it. As the conditions are getting warmer and warmer, it's getting more and more slippery, and the four-wheel drive, the grip of the car is really amazing, and it's a true pleasure to drive it. You were spot on about timing on Eugenio close. Amos. Well, you were right, because he's got a stop and go penalty for stopping too late. Uh, well, we got down to 2.9 on this last lap, but that's still not going to be enough. No. So as long as Fabio here keeps his head and doesn't throw it away in the last part of the lap, should be OK for a victory for the number 22 car. Out of the final corner then, and it is going to be victory for car number 22. Fabio Babini and Albert von Turner Taxis take the victory in the first of three Lamborghini Trofeo races here this weekend. And Albert is very, very happy about that. Uh, good second place for the number 46 car, Tommaso Maino and Mirko Venturi.
catching up towards the end there, but they couldn't quite do it. And in third place in the end, Nicholas Navarro and Cedric Lima in the number 63 Green Machine, which uh, got involved in a little bit of a spin early on in the race, but has come back and done extremely well to finish in third place.